The last decade, we've noticed a decline, a decline in the birch, a decline in the spruce and fir, and the forest looks and is sick. It looks like a bunch of dead top birches with almost nothing growing back. All the branches, instead of needles, they're all bare as they're being eaten and sucked dry by the, the pests. What you have is a dying forest and nothing really emerging to take its place. The prediction for 50 to 70 years from now is for grasslands to replace most of the forests in Minnesota. Climate change, I think, is kind of that, that final peg in the coffin. The world is changing too quickly for the trees to naturally migrate at the speed needed because the grasses will take over and then it's harder for trees to establish. So what we're trying to do is assist the migration. And I went to that presentation with Julie Edison and Dr. Uh, Meredith Cornett. We were talking about all the different issues around climate change and the need for forest system migration. And I gathered them after their presentation. I said, I think we can, we can figure this out. We can build the supply chain. Basically, we're gathering the seed in central and southern Minnesota or south of the area they're planted. And then we are set up a grower's network that's growing the seeds, and then providing those seedlings that are better adaptive to the planting organizations and businesses and companies to plant those trees. But building a supply chain is not easy. We could just grab a seed from anywhere and plant it, but that's not going to help us as much as grabbing a seed from south of where they'll be planted because of the research that Dr. Julie Edison set up. That supply chain and gathering seed is costly. So ultimately there's gonna need to be a public-private partnership because everything can't be 100% market driven. This project with some luck and with some tenacity will preserve a forest, will make a forest thrive for generations to come. <laughs>